Robert Monroe was a radio broadcasting executive in the 1950s. He founded RAM Enterprises, which produced popular dramatic and quiz show programs. In 1956, RAM formed a research and development division to study the effects of audio technology on consciousness. Monroe became very interested in sleep learning, where a person attempts to retain information by playing audio recordings in their sleep. While experimenting with this idea in 1958, he began to experience some very unusual phenomena which led to his first out-of-body experience. Monroe recounted this in his first book published in 1971 called Journeys Out of the Body. And the author of this book, Journeys Out of the Body, would you welcome Robert Monroe. What is an out-of-body experience? Well, what happens is that uh, you as an individual uh, suddenly find yourself for one reason or another apart from your physical body and yet you can think, you can be, you can act. When you first had yours, were you frightened? I was totally frightened. Uh, panic stricken is a better word for it. Can you remember it? Oh, I can remember. Uh, you still look frightened. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, one night I was lying in bed uh, I suddenly uh, felt something bumping against my shoulder and I looked and here was this what looked to be the floor bumping against my shoulder and I thought that's strange I don't remember going to sleep and I looked across and I said there's no rug on the floor I looked more closely and there was something sticking up out of the floor that shouldn't be there and trying to perceive what this was I got a real close look and it was the chandelier and in desperation I realized that I was not bumping against the floor I was bumping against the ceiling and I flopped around in the air and looked down and there below me was the bed and here was my wife in bed and here was a man in bed with my wife Oh! and my first response is well this is an odd kind of a Freudian type dream and I thought well I better get a good look at this man who was in bed with my wife and I moved over a little bit closer and with a great shock, I discovered that the man in bed with my wife was me. <laughs> and uh, then I went through this great emotional surge that I'm dying, death is here, I don't want to die, let me get back in there. And so I swam down to the body, popped in, and how, I don't know. And then I sat up in bed and looked around, everything was quiet. My wife was in, lying there in bed, and I looked up and there was a chandelier. And needless to say, I did not sleep the rest of that night. In 1985, RAM Enterprises transformed its research division into a nonprofit called the Monroe Institute. Claiming a policy of no dogma or bias with respect to belief system, religion, political, or social stance, the Monroe Institute drew upwards of 20,000 attendees from all over the globe within its first 30 years. The Institute started a program called Gateway Voyage, a training course that uses binaural beats to facilitate exploration and replication of specific altered states of consciousness known as focus levels. Binaural beats are an auditory illusion perceived when two different pure tone sine waves at slightly different frequencies are presented to a listener in each ear. In 1994, the Wall Street Journal published an article about the Institute, where they revealed that Katsui Fung, then head of the Zen Buddhist Temple in Vancouver, had stated that Gateway students could reach meditation states in a week that took him years of sitting. The article also confirmed through General Albert Stubblebein, former director of the U.S. Army Intelligence and Security Command, that the Army had sent personnel to the Institute in the 1980s to investigate potential military applications of psychic phenomena. On March 17, 1995, Robert Monroe passed away at the age of 79 due to complications from pneumonia. However, many of his research partners, like Thomas Campbell, continued to investigate and teach consciousness exploration to a new generation of curious minds. You know, always stay skeptical. If you believe whatever you hear, then you deserve whatever happens to you. Scientists continue to investigate the causes of out-of-body experiences, 
and there is growing evidence to suggest that it may be an illusion caused by physical properties in the brain. That said, consciousness remains largely a mystery, a vast frontier of undiscovered treasures of information about who we are, where we come from, and what we're capable of, and we've only just begun to glimpse the surface. <laughs>